As you can see, this channel right there is getting millions and millions of views on their shorts. If I click on one of them, you'll see that these are pretty easy to put together, or at least you would say so. Now, I found tools that can make this even easier, Big3 AI and InVideo. However, which one is better between those two? In today's video, I'm going to compare InVideo versus Big3 for creating short form content, whether it be YouTube shorts that get millions of views, Instagram reels, TikTok videos, it doesn't matter. You can create it with InVideo as well as Pig3. However, which one is better and which one should you get? That's what I answer today. Now, just to prove I'm not some random YouTuber just promoting this stuff, take a look here. I've got a premium plan on InVideo as well as on Pig3. So I've actually been using both softwares for a few months now so that I can figure out which one is the better one for you. So I've spent a couple hundred dollars in subscription money for both of these tools. With that being said, let's get started. So if we analyze the YouTube shorts right here that get millions of views, all we need to be honest is a background video text up on the screen and that is pretty much it. Maybe some background music or even a voiceover. Now, in order to make this on in video, it's going to be extremely easy and I'll demonstrate how because they've got templates. So in video has over 5,000 templates that are customizable. So if you click on it, you'll be brought over to the template section and take a look here. All of these are video templates that you can simply choose and then customize, which is extremely easy to do. Now you can see this is about cooking and recipes, but they've got pretty much anything. This is about real estate. They have any template that you might like. Now on Pic3, they don't have the template section. So we cannot go to a template library like this, then simply click and then customize it. That is not possible. Instead of that, what we can do is use script to video, edit video using text or visuals to video. You can do all of these to be honest. If you were to choose edit video using text, what you would do is upload files, right? If you were to go with visuals to video, once again, you would need to do the same. So all that's left is script to video. So I'm gonna click on proceed. And then here we are inside Pictory script editor. Now this means we have to put in a script to get our video done. So I prepared this right here, which is very similar to these videos that get millions of views. I actually made that with ChatGPT, very easy to do. So for Pictory, what I now need to do is simply copy this, paste it, and then there we go. I can then click on proceed in the top right corner. Then I have to choose a template. I would go with subtitle yellow and then choose the format, which is nine by 16, so that it fits in short format. What it's gonna do now is create my video. So it's pretty much gonna convert the script, AKA the text we put into a full video. So, so far the process itself, that is pretty easy, nothing wrong there. If we compare that to InVideo, InVideo is a little bit easier. So what you can do here is simply search for whatever it is that you need. So I'm gonna go portrait mode for shorts. Then I'm gonna search for motivational shorts, just like that. So search for whatever it is that you're trying to create. And then as you can see, you'll find templates that show up. Now, all of these templates you can use. Whatever it is that you'd like, simply choose that one and then you can use it. So they've got this thread format, which has just launched and they're constantly updating this as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scroll back up and you'll see that this right here is very, very similar to this right here. In fact, maybe it was even made with InVideo, who knows? But what you can now do is choose the template you like click use template, and then you'll be sent over to the editor. And there you go. Your entire video is already built. All you need to do is customize the text. So if you compare that to Pictory, if I go back, Pictory has now generated our video as well. So on the left-hand side, we can see our text. On the right-hand side, we can see our videos. But if we were to just analyze the default version between the two, this is in video. If I just play this for you, and we can customize the text. I'll show you how to do that in a bit, but this is the default. Looks really good. And then for Pictory, this is the default, which in my opinion, looks much less. This looks worse. Take a look here. So the background clips are kind of cringy. The text shows up there instead of in the middle. Now we can of course customize that. I'll show you how to do that. But then you'll see, it's going to be interesting between the two. So what you would have to do now with InVideo is customize the text. So first of all, if you take this slider, you can simply slide this over the video and then in the top right corner, you'll see the elements show up. Now the elements is basically the parts of which your video exists. So what I can do now is click on in relationships. I can double click here and then I can customize it. 
So I can remove this. I can go back to ChatGPT or your script. I can put five signs someone really likes you. I can paste that in here. And there you go. This now shows up on screen. Perfect. What I can then also do is take this box right here, drag it over here, make it a bit bigger by simply doing this. So you'll see everything is drag and drop editing, which makes it really easy. Double click. Let's say that my channel or what I do is daily facts, just like that. I would type in daily facts so that it shows up just like these people are doing here. Then next up, my channel name, put that a little bit higher, double click just like that. My channel name is daily facts for you. And then just like that, the first part of our video would now be done. You can also add background music, which you can see the real audio is already there. However, if you go to music, you can filter by mood, genre, you can even add sound effects. So it's really easy to get that done. Simply click and then choose the song that you would like. You can preview them there and you can add them by clicking here. So all of that is extremely easy. Now, once again, comparing that to Pictory, it is much harder to get the video done in a way that it's actually worth it. So yes, the video is done already. That is good. That is flawless. However, the video quality is nowhere near this. So in order to get that done, what we need to do is first of all, drag this to the center, click apply to all so that all the clips are going to show up the text in the center. But then next up, what we need to do, go to visuals, change the background clip. So we'll search for sunset. And by the way, you can also do this with in video, simply go to videos and then search for whatever it is that you need sunset as well. And then that works pretty similar. There's no big difference there. All we need to do is simply choose the clip that you like, you slide it in, you click replace, you click add. And then as you can see, background clip now changed. Perfect. Very easy. For Pictory works the same. Simply choose the clip you like. In fact, some of them have got the same clips as they're both powered by Storyblocks as well as other sources. But as you can see, here you go. We have added the clip. Now, to be honest, it's going to be easier to remove the text. Maybe go to story and then do it here. Okay, so I'm kind of struggling. I've been using, yeah, I was going to say it should be possible. Remove the text and then go to the text section, click add a heading, and there you go. So this is the best way to do it with Pictory. So I will say five signs someone really likes you, dot, 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 and there you go. Go to the sizing, let's say 42, that fits much better, and here we go. So you can see that this is kind of the easiest way to get a decent quality video done. So instead of just having it done right away because of the template, you need to do a lot of manual work. If you don't mind the manual work, I guess it's not that bad. However, if you want to make 30 shorts and you have to customize six scenes, that's 180 times versus with in video, you just need to click one time. So the difference in terms of how easy it is to put it together is pretty massive with in video. It's much easier than Pictory and the quality of the video is going to be much better. So what I would need to do now is get rid of this, get rid of this text, get rid of every single answer reveal, go to text, click add a heading and then customize it myself as well as go to visuals and insert all of the background clips. So at the end of the day, yes, you can make a similar video. However, it takes much more time as well as the quality is not as good. So in terms of the two, which one is better to create short form content? I must tell you it is in video. Now here's why it's really easy to use. The quality is good. And even if you've never done this before, you just need to click once and paste the text and you can make a video. So even if you don't have any experience, it's extremely easy to still make videos even as a newbie. So what I would do now is I would slide this toolbar to the end of the video, just like that. Then the answer gets revealed here. So what I would do is highlight this, get rid of it. Then I would go over here. I would take the answers from my script just like that. I would paste them in here and here we go. We have just inserted a text. It doesn't look great yet. So what I'm going to do is make it a line like this. I'm going to change the size to let's say 40 and here you go. You can do it like this. You can also make them appear one by one. I guess that is going to be a little bit better. If you want to do that, you would simply double click once again, you will get rid of the rest just like that. So that right now we have one answer that doesn't need show up just like this. You can make this text box a bit different. We're going to go to sizing, put it on 64, make this a bit bigger again. And here we go. 
that shows up quite nicely. Now, in order to then to go to number two, what you can do is click add scene. You can do a blank scene or from template. So just like that, you can do from template and you can click on this one again, and then you can click on use template. And there you go. The same thing gets inserted. What you would do now is simply click this tag box, do the same thing for your channel name and the text right there. And then you would put number two. So answer number two, which is right here. You would copy that. You would paste it in here, put number two, and there you go. Put that up on the screen. So if you now go over here, what you will see is that if I slide the toolbar to the left, just like that, you have this and then it goes into number two. Now you can get rid of the overlay. So the transition effect right there by simply removing this. So it shows up right here, as you can see. So if you simply right click on that, you can click delete transition and you would then be done. So you can see in terms of how easy it is, usability in video wins in terms of the quality of video in video wins as well. In order to then download your video in full HD, you would need a premium plan. You click export, you click export right there, full HD, and you're done. In case you would like to get a premium plan on NVIDIA, I'll show you the pricing as well as a discount code to make it easier for you. So your video is now processing. I'll show you a final result at the end of this video. But first, let's take a look at pricing for both. So for both platforms, you've got multiple pricing plans. You even have lifetime plans available on NVIDIA, but that's probably not for most of you. Most of you will go with monthly or yearly. Monthly is gonna be 30 bucks per month or 60 bucks per month. If you make up to 60 videos, the business plan should work out perfectly for you. Let's say that you want to use this for clients and deliver a ton of shorts for them. You can take the agency plan, which is the unlimited plan, and you can make unlimited HD videos, which is a good deal. You can also pay yearly and by that you would save 50%. So the business plan would only end up being $15 a month, which gets you no watermark on the videos, 60 HD video exports, 10 iStock media clips, you can choose between 1 million premium high footage clips as well as remove 20 backgrounds and all of that will come with a seven day money back guarantee. That right there is a pretty good deal. It's the plan I've got myself. You can even use code YVH25 to get a 25% discount on this plan if you use that at checkout. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below as well as the code itself. For the unlimited plan, it's pretty much the same. However, you'll get unlimited HD video exports 120 iStock media clips, once again, 1 million premium media clips. You can remove backgrounds 40 times, as well as a seven day money back guarantee. For most of you, the business plan will be fine. It's just that if you're doing a lot of videos or you want to do a lot of videos for shorts, this one is gonna be the one for you. If we compare that to Pictory, you can also save 15% if you pay annually. In that case, the standard plan is gonna be 19 bucks a month, which is still $4 more than the business plan on NVIDIA. And what is interesting is that it only gets you 30 videos per month, whereas on NVIDIA is double the amount. So you're paying more and you get half the amount of videos. Plus the videos can only be up to 10 minutes, which for shorts doesn't really apply. But in case you were to use this for longer videos as well, it's only up to 10 minutes. So in my opinion, this plan isn't even worth it. You do need the premium plan, which if you pay annually is 40 bucks a month, so that is more than double and then even more, it's 2.5x the price for the business plan on NVIDIA. If you pay monthly, it's even crazier, but this gets you 60 videos. So on NVIDIA, 60 videos is 15 bucks a month, whereas on Pictory, the cheapest version is 39 bucks a month. So that is a crazy, crazy difference if you ask me. So you can tell my opinion based on quality of the video, how easy it is, user-friendly, can anyone get this done? On NVIDIA, yes, Pictory, it's a little bit harder. As well as pricing, NVIDIA is the clear winner. If you wanna make YouTube shorts, TikToks, Instagram reels, short form content to be exact. If after watching this video, you'd like to try NVIDIA for its infamous templates, I'll leave a link in the description down below that you can use, as well as use code YVH25 to get 25% discount on any plan for the lifetime of you 
using it, which is gonna make it an even better deal. I've paid hundreds of dollars for the software so far, so if you wanna support me a little bit, I would appreciate if you would use that code. Plus, it's a better deal for you at no extra cost. I've made many more videos about NVIDIA and Pictory, etc. Links for that in the description down below. You can also check out NVIDIA's YouTube channel, by the way, which actually has a lot of tutorials on how to make these kind of videos in a very quick way. I'll leave a link to that channel in the description too. See you next time.